All right, what pheasant you got in your hand? America's oldest breed, the Dominique. Or as the locals like to say, the Dominicker. <laughs> America, home of the free, land of the brave, air conditioned, apple pie, occupying foreign territories, John Deere, nuclear bombs, and the Dominicker. Today we're here at Norse Mountain Farms to learn a little bit more about this beautiful breed. We're here with a hobby farmer and a gorilla zookeeper behind the camera. So let's see how it goes. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we Welcome back for those 10 people that actually enjoy these videos. We have something special today. It's not a guinea, it's not a goose. It's America's oldest breed of chicken. This is a Dominique. Nobody really knows for sure where they originated. Some say they came with the settlers on the boats from England. Other people say they came from the French island of Saint Domingue, which is Haiti today. Either way, they are America's oldest recognized breed. The Dominique was recognized as a breed in 1874, but they were all over the place as early as the 1750s. The Dominique was commonplace throughout the 1800s, and uh, Abraham Lincoln himself even had a flock. Uh, their popularity really fell off in the Great Depression in the 1920s, uh, and it got to where there was only four breeding flocks in the United States. And in the 1970s, the American Dominique Club was started to help save the breed. The Dominiques are uh, well liked by a lot of farmers because of their egg production. Um, they can produce anywhere from, on average, anywhere from 235 to 275 eggs a year. No, mine aren't laying. Compared, uh, they don't really compare to gorillas, um, but gorillas do like eggs. So back to the old heavy producers that they are, if gorillas are offered an egg, they will eat it. For all you Yankees and Californians that are, out of that are moving in, this is a good breed to have in your flock. Uh, and it's part of the reason that they've been around for so long. Uh, they are good foragers going out and getting their own food. They will hatch their own eggs. And the rose cone uh, is better for colder environments. You don't have to worry about them getting frostbitten. Uh, they do a lot better or a lot hardier than some of the more modern breeds. <laughs> oh, say can you see 